At five years old, my camp experience at St. John's changed my life. I experienced being around other uh, kids from different ethnic backgrounds. Um, I had the experience of being away from home, um, doing different activities, learning different uh, ways of uh, studying, uh, uh, doing homework, having fun. I actually wanted to be the director of this camp, of uh, St. John's Camp, who was Betty Miller. I wanted her job. As a young person, I, I was inspired by that. And as the years went on, I stayed in the camp, I became a volunteer, and then I became a counselor. And then I did so well, I became the assistant director. And then I became the director of the camp. Um, and through that, through my experience of being at this camp, I was able to go to college. I was able to come back and now I'm the Director of Minority Affairs where I oversee St. John's Camp. St. John's Camp is a great resource for a lot of the kids in the community. Um, and it was great for me because the kids can see someone that looks like them, that come from that same neighborhood, that's doing well for themselves. And then I can give back. That's what I consider being successful, is someone that can give back. I've seen how St. John campers became great counselors and then later on use it as a reference for their colleges and be graduated from colleges and now be, they became lawyers or doctors. Um, they have great careers and they come back and they give back to the camp and the community, which is great because it's a reflection on everyone involved as like St. John's Camp, the town of Huntington. It's a reflection on everyone. As I was growing up, a lot of the uh, kids that were my age were drawn into bad situations and it led them to either going to jail, some of them were killed and some of them use their experience to move on and become better people. This is the only thing some of these kids have. Um, so this is something that since we have them we have to teach them and that's what we're doing and it's great and I enjoy it and the kids enjoy it and it's, it's, a, it's a joyful feeling at the end of the six weeks and the kids go home on a bus and they're laughing and smiling and waving at you. It's a, it's a great experience. I've been a teacher in the Huntington School District for many years and was drawn to this program at the St. John's Camp because of the, its academic component. For many of the students in our camp here, they have never had the experience of being in a school setting or a camp setting, and this is a great opportunity for them to learn how to behave in school, how to raise their hand, how to stand in line, how to stay in their seat and not to talk when someone else is talking. It's these basic skills that, that they need to learn going into kindergarten or first grade. We have data that shows from the beginning of the camp the improvement that children have made in learning their numbers and recognizing numbers and letters. And we have data to prove that it is working. The feedback that I've been getting from our camp has been nothing but positive. The parents are very appreciative that the children have a place to go to that is safe, the children are well cared for. They're also appreciative that the, chil they're, the children are having fun and that there's a learning component to this program. I love seeing the children's smiles every day when they come into camp. They come in with a real happy smile. Uh, I myself, I speak for all of our staff, how appreciative we are with the generosity of the St. John's Parish of Cold Spring Harbor. I am the four-year-old teacher at St. John's Summer Camp. And I first worked here when I was 15 at Project Play. And I really liked it, so I decided to come back as a teacher for St. John's. And we go on exciting field trips like the Children's Museum and the farm and to the St. John's Church. And I think the children really like it here because we mix academics with fun. So at the same time, they're still getting um, summer camp, but they still get academics. Most of the things we do here um, academically are days of the week, months of the year, numbers 1 to 20, name recognition, um, patterns, weather. We also work on letting them know about authors and illustrators, the front cover, the back cover of the book. And we also do um, games, musical chairs, and dancing. So things like that get us through the day, and it goes by really, really fast. St. John's is a program that is a part of the Town of Huntington's Project Play and it is a six-week program that teaches four to six-year-olds and I teach the six-year-olds. 
We go over the alphabet, um, memorizing and learning letters, and we also go over um, memorizing and learning numbers and simple addition. These kids get an opportunity to have an academic base camp that is also a lot of fun for them, and they normally wouldn't have this opportunity due to their income levels. The kids at camp get to go outside and play with other children, and they also get three meals here. This is my first year with the St. John's camp, and it was a great experience for me, and I loved every single day of it, and I would love to come back next year. Hi, I'm Glorimar. I teach the five-year-olds at St. John's, and my goal for the summer is to keep them refreshed from what they learned in school and to make things fun and just fill their summer up with things to do, keep them busy. When I bring volunteers to the St. John's Day Camp, I'm most impressed with how quickly they fall in love with the camp and the camp falls in love with them. I've been involved with the St. John's Day Camp for over six years, and I'm so proud to be part of this collaborative effort that does such amazing things. I love the kids. I love their energy, their enthusiasm, and it makes me so happy to think that I'm a part of our longest outreach effort. When the volunteers leave the camp, they come away feeling they've received far more than they've given. The teaching staff is remarkable. They are highly skilled and dedicated and they're building our community by bringing these young children into the educational system at such a young age. What makes the St. John's Day Camp so unique is the educational component, and that's what our parish directly supports. We support the teacher salaries and the field trips that the children take, and that's what makes such a difference in these young children's lives. The tragedy of Martin Luther King's assassination in 1968 prompted a group of parishioners at St. John's Church to want to do something about it. And what they did was to set up the St. John's Day Camp. That uh, is an example of a highly successful public-private partnership that's been going now for well on 50 years. The St. John's philosophy goes to the basics of, of early childhood intervention, which research has shown is at least twice as effective as any kind of work that might come later in helping kids as they forge a future for themselves. It's an approach that nourishes the minds of these youngsters, not just through teaching, but through combining teaching with play. It also gives them an opportunity to spend time with people from other backgrounds who come in as uh, models of what it's like to be an adult. This is a gem of a program and it's right in our own backyard in Huntington. Uh, and we encourage our parishioners to contribute, not just to send in money, which a lot of people do very generously, but also to roll up their shirt sleeves, get out there with the kids teach them, show them something that they've done, show them that the world exists outside the walls of Huntington, and give them a lot of things about which they can hope. It goes back to Martin Luther King. He had a dream. Well, we want these kids to have a dream too. And the St. John's Day Camp, with the cooperation of St. John's Church and the town of Huntington, is providing the platform for those kids to do just that. <laughs>